So we're here with the Exalas here at SID Display Week. And uh, who are you? Yeah, hi, I'm Christian Vélez, uh, founder and CEO of Exalos. So what are we looking at here? Yeah, basically we have a demonstrator where we want to uh, illustrate the advantage of our uh, special light source called Superluminescent Diode, which is basically a speckle-free laser. So speckle-free lasers, uh, uh, because uh, <coughs> they are half less coherent, and uh, that's why you can see, uh, for example, uh, the advantage in this image once uh, you have a laser based image uh, where you have speckle, this granulation, and that's uh, with our superluminescent diode, which is basically speckle free. And this is this technology we have been developing the last 10 years. We have now uh, green, uh, that's the new light source. Uh, we have been uh, having also red and, uh, and blue. So with this RGB uh, SLEDs, you can uh, build a um, display uh, projection system uh, without speckle correction. So right now, when people make projectors, for example, with the laser light source, yeah, they have, they have to issues? Yeah, so they have to use a D speckle or modulate the laser or, or use different kind of tricks to be able to uh, get rid of the speckle. And uh, this is an inherent speckle-free laser, and that's a big advantage for different projection applications. Big advantage? Yeah, so yeah, that's quite unique because uh, <coughs> you combine uh, the advantages of an LED, which is uh, broad uh, spectra, with the advantages of the laser, which is uh, very nice beam quality, and in that, uh, that, that allows new architectures uh, much, much more flexibility for different uh, projection systems. What is this uh, setup right here? What yeah, so basically we are illuminating, um, we have here uh, the SLED uh, and the laser coming out, uh, which uh, then go to a MEMS mirror, which then generates the image. And we do that uh, three times. Uh, here the laser and the SLED in blue, and here the SLED and the laser uh, in red, and then uh, illuminating again the MEMS. And that's how we generate the image. And then we can prove uh, here, for example, in the blue, no speckle, thanks to the SLED emission. And uh, the reference is the laser uh, with the speckle. And same for the red. So uh, what kind of uh, potential displays will be projectors, but what else? Could yeah, so the main application we are targeting is augmented reality. So there are different architectures uh, which can profit from this uh, uh, concept of the super diode. Uh, <clears throat> because normally if you have a laser in a headset where you have to get rid of the of the speckle, this will kill your form factor and that's something uh, with the SLED, uh, um, uh, something you don't have to, you, uh, you can have a much compacter system basically. And uh, other technologies for augmented reality displays use LEDs, but then you lose a lot of the light, so basically you are less efficient and you consume a lot of power and that's why SLEDs can be an ideal light source for uh, augmented reality uh, applications. The other one is, of course, Pico Projector. Uh, there you need a nice beam quality, but you don't want the speckle uh, due to the laser uh, coherence. And then uh, that's also the ideal light source for a Pico Projector. So it's about uh, high efficiency, power consumption is lower? The, the colors are better, brightness is higher? Uh, co colors are the same because we are fulfilling the RGB requirements, uh, but it's basically, yeah, you, you combine the advantages of laser with LEDs, and in that sense, you have the ideal light source for a projection system. And DLP, LCAS? Yeah, that's the other ad application. Uh, today, uh, people are illuminating uh, LCOS with LEDs. Uh, the Big disadvantage of LEDs in that case is that they are uh, non-polarized and then you lose 50% of the light with the LCOS. Uh, the big advantage of SLDs is they are highly polarized and so you win already 50% uh, just by using SLD. And besides, because the SLDs have a very nice uh, beam characteristics similar to a laser, uh, you can make much compact uh, architectures. So what's next and uh, how big is your company and where are you based? Yeah, so we, we, have, we started 15 years ago. Our main business is, uh, has been infrared SLDs, which we sell uh, several ten thousands a year, but that's main, mainly for other applications. Uh, we have been developing now these new visible SLDs, 
uh, for, uh, for consumer electronics. We are now sampling the red and the blue uh, SLDs to different uh, AR potential customers. And uh, we are then uh, hopefully by end of the year uh, qualifying the green so we can have an RGB light source and uh, start uh, the whole development. And uh, so how's it going here, the SID Display Week? Here yeah, the... it's very good. We're very happy at the, uh, the ISON. It's ideal. ISON? Yeah, it's an uh, ideal uh, platform. Is there a lot of uh, people? Yeah, it's a lot of people, very high level people. Uh, all the big high tech companies are coming here, try to spot something new. Because one of the main uh, uh, requirements you need to fulfill to qualify to the ISON is that you, have, uh, you are showing something new. And, and a uh, prototype. And uh, yeah, and a, and a demo. And uh, basically, you every every big company is sending here their scoutings, uh, folks uh, trying to see what's new and uh, what's the potential uh, new cool technology they could use. So yeah, it has been very busy and uh, extremely good contacts. When do you think it's potentially going to be in consumer electronic products? Yeah, realistically, two to three years. Uh, we're still two to three years away until because it's it really done and everything yeah of course and then you need to scale up uh, but uh, we have already uh, some uh, uh, devices being tested uh, with very good feedback and so we are confident that in the next two to three years uh, this will uh, take off and that means the everything will be higher quality uh, higher quality yeah well quality or yeah uh, I, I guess Better performance uh, yeah, and a form factor enabler, a form factor enabler, Smaller. I will say, yes. Because that's one of the big hurdles today for the augmented reality, that the glasses or headsets are still very uh, bulky, and uh, the SLED could be one of the key uh, components to resolve uh, some of these issues.